right, it's a fun one, these NHL playoffs. The Vegas Golden Knights defending champs 12-1 to to go back-to-back. -to, -back. to do so, they're going to have to do it as an eight seed, which means any Game 7 going to be played on road ice and a, of course, tough first-round series against the West-leading Dallas Stars. Let's talk more NHL playoffs and welcome in P.K. Subban to the ESPN Bet Live set. P.K., thanks for making some time for us. Thanks for having me. What a beautiful set this is. It's like I a like nightclub. It. Yeah, seriously. A little cozy <laughs> in here. I like it. Undo another button there since we're in the nightclub. It's <laughs> wild. All right, let's start with those defending champs. That uh, Vegas Golden Knight operation, their title defense gets underway against Dallas. What kind of expectations do you have for them? Well, listen, uh, to be the champs, you got to beat the champs. Vegas got better this year, if you could believe it. Mark Stone goes on LTIR, comes off, but that opened up about $9 million worth of cap space. They pick up Thomas Hurdle. They pick up Noah Hannafin on the back end, who's a top four defenseman. Thomas Hurdle would be a centerman in anybody's top yeah. six on any team. Um, you know, so they've bolstered their team. They've gone out and picked up these players. Anthony Mantha, who's a 30-goal scorer. And this is a team, like I said, that's got... Playoff pedigree, you got Alex Petrangelo, Theodore on the back end. They're just deep everywhere up and down the roster. Aiden Hill, bona fide stud in net, pr proved last year that he could win and get it done when it matters the most. So I'm sticking with Vegas, man. Until okay. somebody beats them in the playoffs, wow. there's nobody else to talk about. Maybe the Rangers coming out of the East, but they got a long way to go. Late in December, I really liked what I saw from the Kings. Bet them to win the Stanley <laughs> Cup. Okay. Five seconds later, they went on a horrific losing streak <laughs> and then fired their coach. Yeah. I can't get away from this team. I like them tonight. They're plus 150 against the Oilers. Is it crazy to think they could swing the upset here? Well, Mr. Hiller's got his work cut out for him. He's got his hands full because Connor McDavid, the best player in the world, is on the other side. Mm -hmm. And listen, he may not win MVP this year, but make no doubt about it. This guy's the best player in the league yeah. right now. Uh, based on circumstances, he's not going to get MVP, probably. But he knows that he's the best player. He showed it at the All-Star game. He's going to want to show it again. And he's rested also. I think that for Edmonton, this is the best team that they've put together since he's been there. So they're poised to make a run. I would not want to be seeing Connor McDavid this time of the season. Ooh, no one wants to be doing that. All right, the Toronto Maple Leafs. They did not look good on Saturday in Game 1 against the Bruins. Do you expect any type of fight in them in Game 2? I hope so. I mean, uh, listen. Why are you so giggling like that? Because it's we were just talking about the Leafs. It's every year with the well, Leafs. Well, listen, I'm not going to be one of those people that just dumps on yeah. just for the sake of dumping on. Let's talk about it. Like, guys, you know, you got you got to have a sense of pride. There's a lot of hockey left to be played, but you got pump 5-1. Going back home down 2 nothing is a death sentence against Boston Bruins. I'm not saying it's impossible, but you, you got to make sure that you step up today and set the tone for the rest of the series. That at least, if you don't get a win, you, you got to make it tough on them. They got to finish all their checks. And I, I think they lost last game not because they didn't battle hard, they didn't leave it all on the ice. They, they played hard, but it's not good enough. Mm -hmm. Those star players, whether you got William Nylander or not, it should not matter. They have a lot of depth on that team, especially up front. And those big guns got to show up tonight. Yeah, Austin Matthews, I know that's a player you're looking at, Joe. Shots on goal four and a half tonight, had five in game one. Thinking about going over here tonight. You figure you got to get the big guns involved. I don't want Austin Matthews tonight. I want Big Poppy, Poppy Chulo, <laughs> whatever they call him down in Toronto. I want to see it tonight, and it matters. Listen, this guy's uh, the best goal scorer in the world right now. We saw Alex Ovechkin didn't have a shot on net. I mean, listen, New York Rangers are a powerhouse. But Austin Matthews is the best goal scorer in the world. He's got to score goals. But it's also on Sheldon Keith, the coach. you got to figure out a way to get these guys in a position to do some damage against the Boston Bruins. Because it's just a, as much as it's about these guys stepping up and scoring goals, it's also about X's and O's. Mm -hmm. There's a game within the game, and they got to win that game. P.K. Subban joining us here on ESPN Bet Live to break down the NHL postseason. That was great stuff, P.K. Thanks, You're welcome man. back anytime, man. Beautiful Thanks, shade man. of blue. It's a beautiful shade of blue. Thank you. Thank you. Can you, you believe I've Sometimes had this? Sometimes we pop bottles in here. Well, I've had this <laughs> suit for at least at least eight or nine years. I've let it out, taken it in, let it out, <laughs> taken it in. It's a very maple leaf kind of blue. You can't see the suede sliders he's got on, too. The suede sliders. Com maybe maybe the Leafs are winning tonight. There you go. Maybe the Leafs. But there's a little bit of gold. I got a little bit of gold. I don't know. I got a little bit of gold. A lot of gold. I saw a lot of gold in there. PK, well done, my friend.